Okay. I don't know if this angle is good or what, but I just had to come in here. I wanted to start this. I think this might be the start of our labor and delivery vlog. Okay, so I came in here because Austin is working in the dining room right now. He left work early because our pregnancy checkup was like in the middle of the day. So he's just taking the last half of the day at home and working from home. So <clears throat> that's why I popped in Baby Rolls Nursery. But I wanted to update you guys. We just got home, like I said, from our 38 week and five day pregnancy checkup. So a week ago, I was two centimeters dilated and 80% effaced. This time he said that we are three centimeters dilated and at least 80% effaced. Now my platelet levels are still consistently low, around 100 he said, or like 97 or something, but they're staying consistently at that level. And he said it's just because I'm pregnant and that can happen. Um, if it gets any lower, then they want to actually induce me. So they are having me go in tomorrow to get some more blood work done. And if that comes back lower, like if it drops, then they want to induce me this weekend. And if my platelet levels do get lower, they're going to recommend me not get an epidural, but the plan is to not get an epidural anyways. So that's just like more incentive to not get an epidural. I'm not entirely sure why, maybe because when you get an epidural, it increases your chance of like bleeding, I guess. I don't know. I'd have to talk to them about that. If my platelet levels are good tomorrow or, you know, are still consistently just 100 and haven't dropped, they're not planning on inducing me. I made an appointment to come back in, you know, in a week if I'm still pregnant. So nothing too alarming yet. And it's like raining right now. So sorry if you can hear that. So anyways, because they want me to go into labor sooner than later, they did offer to do a stretch and sweep or sweep my membranes, which if you don't know, it's where they like really get up in there and they separate like the membranes from your cervix. And the thought of that is that this disruption can put your body into labor within like 48 hours typically. So they did the stretch and sweep. It hurt, <laughs> um, it was quite, jarring but now ever since then i've been getting contractions like i actually stopped timing them because they were like freaking me out maybe that's stupid but they were like 40 to 50 seconds like three minutes apart about. They are definitely more intense than the Braxton Hicks contractions i was having before but i'm like is this a real contraction or is this just like Braxton Hicks with cramping at the same time. I don't really know. I've never done this before. So I'm just going to do some stuff around the house that I've been wanting to get done. Like we need to hang some guitars on the wall. We were going to go for a walk, but it's raining outside now. So we're going to see maybe once that dies down, uh, then we're going to go for a walk and maybe um, have sex tonight. I know that can help get your body into labor. So yeah, we might be having a baby soon. <laughs> but yeah, three centimeters dilated, 80% effaced. I've got lots of plans this weekend. This weekend's supposed to be 4th of July. We might have a baby instead. Could you imagine if she's born on the 4th of July? That would be crazy. So yeah, I'm just gonna go keep on my feet and uh, I will keep you guys updated. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Let's walk this baby out. You won't notice if you're a water bottle. Yeah, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling pressure, I think it's the start of like actual contractions. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's happening. Holy smokies. Okay. It's happening. Or you can update, <laughs> you can update your face. If you turn it towards you, you can flip it up and then. Oh. Just update the camera. So let's okay, go. the update. Okay. So, um, we woke up. Last night, or I woke up last night, <laughs> to Aaron um, saying that uh, the bed was wet and that it felt like she peed herself. <laughs> and um, we think her water broke. And then um, she got up and went to the bathroom. And then I got up and went to the bathroom, uh, the other bathroom. And then um, there's water on the floor. Or not water, but you know. And so we think. 
her water broke, and so we're going to go to the hospital. It's about 1.41 in the morning, so we got no sleep. <laughs> so of course it's happening now. Yes, it's happening. And this is Cal. I'm definitely having a contraction. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so... <gasps> my heart is pounding, I'm so anxious. Anxious, like excited. I'm just trying to like hurry, because even though I'm not having like consistent contractions yet, I, since I was like so effaced and like already three centimeters dilated, if it was my water, I feel like things might progress quickly. Why do you have your hiking shoes on? I'm ready to go. <laughs> You're cute. <sighs> okay, our toiletries. I got to put this in the car. My water definitely broke. It's definitely coming at me. I for sure know my water broke. Oh. What are you doing? Some <laughs> Any contractions yet? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. They feel like legit. Mm hmm. Yep, they definitely feel different. I don't feel anything in my back though, it's just like low down, like low pain. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, sitting down doesn't feel good. The standing up doesn't feel good either. See, it's like, I wanna eat this because I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be able to like eat is. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like this might make me feel sick, so maybe I shouldn't. Well, I think we should just mosey on down. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, after this one. Yeah? Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You sure you don't need anything else? Nope. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Alright, let's go to the hospital. Okay, let's go. Alright, we got everything we need at the hospital. <laughs> They've got beds. They've got doctors. Come on down to the hospital. Have a baby today. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh. Oh. oh! It's gushing out of me. No, the, the towel is supposed to be on my seat. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Otherwise, what's the point of it? Do you want me with this? Oh, I'm sorry. She's so great. Look at her. I'll do it myself. <laughs> She's having our baby. Look at her go. Oh. Hey, where's my phone? Oh. There it is. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You're, is it, is Honey, your bag fine here, or you, yeah. you need it there? Yeah, yeah. That's where it's gonna go. Here, we're just gonna go there. We're gonna go to the hospital. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're a mess. Oh, the contraction stopped. I'm awful at this. <laughs> okay. Well, that one was three minutes from the previous one. You know where you're going, right? To the hospital. You know where the hospital is, right? I know where the hospital is. There's probably not very much traffic, so. Here, let me 
me double check. Oh, it's hot, 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 hot. <sighs> We're gonna be born in the same hospital. Same hospital, baby girl. You're gonna be born in the same hospital as daddy. I had to be born on the 4th of July, didn't you, Judy? It's coming today. 4th of July, baby. Oh my gosh. Why are you so extra? At least it's 4th of July morning. Baby's super extra. So, you already. know, not all the, you know... You never know how Firework long. wound victims will be in yet. That's crazy that we got pictures taken today. Basically what happened is we had a pretty pretty nice day. We went and actually took pictures with or got some pictures taken. Some friends of mine from high school, their mom's a photographer, and she asked if she could take some maternity pictures of me for her portfolio. So we did that and then we went to a record store, went to Austin's parents' house for his dad's birthday, and came home, watched some TV, went to bed. Woke up around 1.30 just to like go to the bathroom and I felt some like liquid, like I felt kind of wet down there. Um, went to the bathroom, got up, had a little like, <laughs> had a little like fart and water like came out of me. So uh, we called, they said to come in because if I suspect my water's been checked, they want me to come in. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're going to the hospital. I'm having uh, contractions. Compared to like Braxton Hicks, they're definitely more intense. Nothing coming from my back or anything yet, but it's just like really low down. Oh shoot, I forgot to stop that one. I'm really bad at the contraction timer, but whatever. We're already like headed to the hospital, so I don't know why I need to even like, just because we're gonna be there and then they're gonna time their contract the contractions for me. Ooh. Pressure, 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 lots of pressure. You can turn off the, uh, <sighs> the directions, I don't know how to do it. <sighs> Doing my makeup so that I look cute, you know? Oh, thanks baby, how sweet. But oh, we will go ahead and keep you guys updated. Having a baby, I think it's gonna be a 4th of July baby. Well, she's definitely gonna be a 4th of July baby. Oh, it's really gushing out of me. Right. One second. Okay. Yeah, let me let this one pass. Yeah, I'll just take yours for right now. And then I'll come back for mine. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that food in here. Yeah, that's fine. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> okay, let's figure out where we're going. <laughs> ah. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> what are you most excited about? Getting a little girl today. Ooh. I'm most excited about the agonizing pain. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> I see something that says the birth suites. That sounds right. We're birthing. We're having a baby. We're having a baby. <laughs> oh, honey. Do you mean to carry something? Yeah. I love you. Yeah, <laughs> we're walking around wearing a diaper. Okay, we're going up. We're wearing a diaper? Yeah, I'm wearing a diaper. What floor do we go to? The only floor there is. Oh. This also is very this, sweaty. Yeah, it's a very hot elevator. Yeah. People are in labor. Why do you have to have the hottest elevator? Makes the July. Baby slippery. Yeah, they try to slide the baby right out. Yeah, they try to get y'all sweaty. The baby just slides out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it feels weird because it feels like I'm peeing myself.
Okay, so you're in the hospital. I think we're in our room. I think they just skipped us past triage because I was pretty sure my water broke. And I think they're waiting to just check me. I'm having a contraction. Uh. Uh. Oh. Things are moving really quickly. I'm like eight centimeters dilated. Mm -hmm. I was having really bad nausea, puke a few times. Mm -hmm. They're getting the thing set up. Yeah, they're bringing in a delivery table. Yep. And Ugh. they said it's a good thing that she doesn't want an epidural because she probably doesn't have time for yeah, one. No time. And you're doing so good, baby. Lots of pressure. Yeah. Lots of pressure. Get me for a second. Blow like you're blowing out a candle. Not quite time to push yet. It's so good, baby. It's so good. Baby. So good. Oh, okay. Good job. God, these are moving quick. How long have we been here? Like. An hour? Yeah, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. What, you've been here? Yeah, we've been here since 2.40. Yeah, that was now. when you checked in the lobby. We didn't get in here until, I didn't turn the monitor on until after three, but you were in the bathroom a little while and that kind of stuff, so. Yeah. So you figure in this room, three, three, one hour. Mm. Yeah. It's less than that since you checked in. Things are moving along. <laughs> Mama Niedemeyer was right. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I think we might just see you guys after we have the baby because I can't we can't film while we're pushing and things are progressing really quickly, so So we'll show you guys her when she's out.
This is what it means to fall 